Spears Brothers again, and you're going to see a little bit more of my brother and I playing through some of your levels soon, but um, a lot of people have asked about bosses. Obviously, bosses are possible and built into the engine pretty well, but... There's not a lot, there doesn't seem like there's a lot of options. You've got a couple of bosses, you can give them a few powers, and people have played through those a few times already. So what I tried to do was come up with a few sort of level design ideas that capture what I think a good boss battle is. Now in my mind, uh, a good boss battle isn't just um, an enemy with a lot of hit points that you have to shoot a whole bunch of times. In my m mind, a boss battle is an intellectual challenge, it's like a little puzzle that is um, integrated into one screen. It's a one screen puzzle where there's a single antagonist. Uh, in, in the case of Super Mario Maker, you can't really make just any enemy be a boss. You can't just give them a bunch of hit points. So you have to kind of add peripheral stuff all around. So I tried to come up with a few interesting ideas uh, that haven't, I haven't seen yet in Super Mario Maker. And hopefully this will give you some ideas on how you can play around with boss stages in yours. So what I've developed is a, essentially a seven boss boss rush, rush level. It's quite difficult. You don't need to beat every single boss in order to beat the level. And in fact, some bosses, there's ways around, there's exploits where you can kind of skip them. Um, and that's one of the issues with Super Mario Maker. It's hard to make a, a boss that is um, that you can't skip in some way. But I've tried to set up a system here where it's difficult to skip the bosses, where the bosses are somewhat interesting, and where they play around with some of the mechanics that Super Mario Maker has some mechanics that are sometimes perhaps maligned or missed out. Let's take a look at my uh, 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 seven boss rush stage. So let's go down and check out the my first boss. This one's a pretty standard one you're gonna see a lot of in Super Mario Maker. It's a um, it's Bowser with some shit on his head is what I like to call him. You're gonna see a lot because it's it's easy to do. Um, it's a concept people understand. Um, but I've tried to add a few wrinkles into it. Oh, I died. I've tried to add a few wrinkles into it to make him a little bit more interesting, in my, my opinion, a little bit more stuff to do. Um, but without overwhelming it by adding too much stuff, guns everywhere and that sort of thing. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's the first boss battle. Let's take a look at the second one. The second boss battle plays a little bit more with uh, uh, playing around with different objects and how to make uh, basically a super complex puzzle into a boss. Um, it's maybe a little bit too busy. There's maybe a bit too much stuff going on and there's only one way to win. If you don't get it exactly right, you're not gonna win. But uh, I think it's kind of a neat idea, so I left it in there. Oh, jeez. There is a lot going on in this battle. Must get invincibility. Alright, so that boss battle is a little bit more of a puzzle, maybe. There's so much stuff going on, and there's a challenge you have to kind of work your way through. It's not, not so much as a single enemy. This is my good old-fashioned Bowser battle, but I've put it in an unusual location. I don't think I've seen a Bowser battle yet, possibly because I just haven't downloaded the right uh, set where you're on tracks and Bowser's on tracks too. But it feels like the kind of thing that they um, might have done in a uh, in like one of the new, new 3D Super Mario Brothers. This on type. rails battle with Bowser is probably the hardest individual boss battle I made in this set. Um, it is not easy, but I've beaten it a couple times so I know that it's possible. This next battle is another idea where I had this sort of machine set up that I wanted to try out. Uh, let's take a look. Now again, you can kind of figure out what the challenge is here, but I've added another wrinkle into it. Uh, although this is a multi-animal battle, it does remind me a little bit of some of the uh, battles, uh, pipe battles in Super Mario Bros. 3 and, and some of the later Mario games that really copied that idea. So far, most of the boss battles have been with Bowser or with another enemy, but I decided to try one out with uh, Baby Bowser, who I didn't know that much about having not played through uh, the Super Mario, new Super Mario Bros. games. But uh, I recognized his style from Super Mario Bros. 3 and then later on from uh, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Technically here, it's not that hard to skip Baby Bowser, um, and so I wouldn't consider this a true trap. At the same time, 
getting by him without beating him is probably harder than beating him since he's not that hard of a boss even in the uh, new, Super Mario, new Super Mario Brothers franchise. So um, we'll go on to the next battle. This last battle, I put a lot of shit on the screen, but I think you'll see that there's a central theme to what's going on to this battle. This boss battle is maybe a little bit easy if you know exactly what you're doing and you know all your physics, but not knowing what damage is what or or how much damage to do to an enemy with different, like how much damage different items use against certain enemies. Really, I feel like I learned a lot about Mario development just by making some of these boss battles. So you'll notice that six boss battles I've shown you so far. While there's one more that you have to get to the very end of the level to see. And uh, it's kind of a bit, once again, unconventional. Um, maybe it's not a full boss battle, but you can see here how we've managed to set up a boss battle. This isn't the perfect boss stage. What this is, is a chance to show you how you can play around with some of the ideas in Super Mario Maker and make unique boss stages. So I'm going to do a little bit more gameplay and then uh, please check out my level and like I say I'm going to try some of your levels out too so if you are a Super Mario Maker let me know in the comments and we'll try out some of your levels on our show. Thanks a lot and see you next time with the Super Spears Brothers. <laughs> That's the end of the level. Now can you beat it?